So I thought for this week's video, it'd be really fun to do like a day in the life vlog or a week in the life vlog of what it's like to be a VA for therapists in private practice. But my job now doesn't really involve much work for therapists in private practice on a day-to-day -day level. I do still work for a couple of therapists day-to-day, but that work is very small in the comparison of everything I do. So what I thought would be fun is to actually ask the ladies that work for me, so Kate, Claire and Stacey, ask them to film a day in their life so that you can see what really goes into being a VA for therapists in private practice. I thought that would be much more useful to you. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Kim. I help therapists in private practice get online, get confident with admin and reduce tech overwhelm but I don't actually work for many therapists anymore on a day-to-day -day basis, my team do. So I'm really involved. Obviously I've created courses and I've worked with therapists since 2016. So I do have lots of knowledge on how to work with therapists, but now my job really involves managing the team, creating things like this so that I can help more people. So I'm just gonna rewind a little bit and kind of tell you how I got into working with therapists for those of you who don't know my kind of story with that. So in my previous job, I worked for a logistics company. I'd worked for them since I was about 19 and I was the operations manager. So I looked after kind of everything that happened at the depot, looking after office staff, warehouse staff and drivers. And when I got pregnant with my son and had my son, you know, I really did not want to go back. The job really was 24 seven. You know, even if I wasn't there, I'd have to be on the phone dealing with problems and things like that. And just the thought of going back was just terrifying to me. You know, my son wasn't sleeping through the night and, you know, drivers would ring me at 5 a.m. in the morning and warehouse staff might ring me at midnight. And I, I just couldn't, I couldn't. Like I was driving there on my first day back in absolute tears the whole way there, which was another thing. It was at Heathrow, which is about an hour from my house. I mean, it shouldn't be an hour, but it takes an hour. And when I got there, I just knew I didn't want to be there. And they were making people redundant at the time because there'd been a takeover. And I kind of asked if I could be made redundant. And they said yes, because most of them didn't even know who I was. You know, the takeover had kind of happened when I wasn't there. And so, you know, they were used to me not being there and they let me go, which is great. So I got, you know, my redundancy money. Um, I did actually go back and consult with them for a little bit. But anyway, I didn't have a job and I loved that. I loved being a stay at home mom, but I also have always been super career driven and that's really important to me. And I definitely lost myself, you know, just being a mum. And some people might not, some people might just love that role. And, but I didn't, I, I definitely lost myself and, you know, even though I had the redundancy money, I was financially dependent on my husband and I also hated that. Not that he ever made me feel bad for that or, you know, anything like that, but I just, I absolutely hated depending on someone else if I wanted to do something. It was horrible. I've always been super independent and I hated it. So my friend who I just met was a therapist in private practice and she kind of just asked me if I could help her out with her bookkeeping and invoicing and that's what I did for a little while. And eventually I just did more and more and ended up kind of running her practice for her. And I did that for a while and then kind of like just organically grew my job. Then I started working for somebody else and then I started working for Tamara Howell. So when my daughter came along and then went to school, that's when I really started to think about what am I going to do? Like when she starts school, what am I going to do? And I decided that I would just make a go of this like this is going to be my job and I absolutely loved working with therapists the pandemic had happened so my business had really grown at that point and I'd taken on Claire so you'll meet Claire in a minute and I took Claire on and she started working with some therapists and I just thought no this is what I want to do I want to run this business I want to work with therapists in private practice I want to grow an agency and help other women who are in who were in the same position as me, you know, find financial freedom, but also be able to drop their kids off at school and pick them up and be there if one of them was sick, but still earn money. So that is what I decided to do. That is where I am now, kind of brings me up to today. 
So I thought it would be really fun just to meet the team, see who it is kind of like behind me, who is working day to day with the therapist and doing an amazing job. So I will let them explain to you what it is like working as a VA for therapists in private practice. Hi everyone, I'm Kate. I am one of the virtual assistants at Virtually Irreplaceable. Um, it is 8.40 in the morning. I have just dropped the kids off at school. I'm heading back home now and I'm going to take you with me and show you what a typical day is like. So the question that I get asked really regularly is how did I become a VA? Um, I think that my route to it has not been the same as most people, so I don't know how helpful this story will be. Um, but I ran my own business for five years. I was a cake designer, made cakes for people. Um, and I'd really just kind of got to the end of what I felt I could achieve with that. And I wasn't really enjoying it anymore. And I happened to mention that to a friend of mine um, who is a friend of Kim's. So Kim was kind of a mutual friend. We'd met a few times, but didn't know each other super well. And this friend suggested that Kim give me a call. Um, I was very honest with her uh, straight away saying that I hadn't really used a computer for years and years and years uh, and she said that was fine uh, I don't know if she quite knew uh, how little I could do uh, at the time but I, I tried to tell her um, but I think the most important thing to her was that she knew she could trust me she knew I was there for her 100% to support her in her business and everything else I could learn and I did uh, and she was super patient with me and even if I didn't get things right the first time or maybe the second time um, she was there to support me and guide me and um, that really gave me the opportunity that I needed to build up my confidence uh, and even though I was terrified for the first six months about letting her down or making mistakes like would affect her business badly she was amazing and then by the end of 2022 I felt more confident to start working with some of our therapists so I work for two of the therapists uh, one who has a business model where she uh, sees private clients and sees clients that are recommended to her through the council and uh, in that business I mostly do the the financial side of things I make sure the invoices are sent out on time and that everyone is paying um, there is a huge problem and um, with doing invoices for private people versus uh, working with councils so there is a whole system involved and every council does it differently and they require different things so staying on top of that um, was really hard but I'm really pleased to say that we've got all that under control and week to week it is much much less stressful than it was at the beginning of the year the other therapist I work for has a very, very different kind of business. So she does see some private clients, but mostly her job is about bringing uh, courses and development and paperwork to therapists to help them in their job. Um, and at the moment, she has a massive project going on uh, and supporting her with that and helping her to kind of bring that to fruition uh, is really, really exciting. And uh, I can't wait to see the finished product. Um, so day to day, um, I try and organize my time so that um, everyone's inboxes get checked, everyone's emails are up to date, um, and everyone has everything that they need. Right, so it is 9am, which is the time that I usually sit down to start work. At today's Tuesday, and Tuesday means uh, YouTube day. So Kim usually sends me the YouTube video either on a Monday evening or sometime on a Tuesday, and I check it all, um, and then I do the description and upload it all to YouTube, and Kim and I work on a newsletter together that goes out every Wednesday. And then I make sure the social media is up and running, and then I can move on to other things. But if I don't get that thing done first, then it's really easy to get dragged into people's inboxes and the emails that they need sending. So I always make sure that that is the first thing that I do on a Tuesday. Uh, so then when that's finished, uh, we have a meeting booked in with one of the therapists that I work for and she will go over how last week went and we'll talk about the accounts which is the job that I do for her and 
then if she needs anything doing, I will take the time after the meeting to concentrate on that. And then the other therapist I work for has a massive, massive launch coming up this month. Uh, so I'm really busy doing stuff for her and I will uh, do all of that this afternoon after lunch. And that is my plan for the day. Um, every day I try and block out my time so that I know everyone's tasks will be taken care of. Um, and so I'm not super stressed about getting everything done. I know when everything will be looked at and the therapists know as well you know when i will get to their inbox because i do it pretty regularly throughout the week so i'm about to have a meeting with one of our clients now uh, and we will go over everything that's happened in the last week uh, and anything uh, that I need to do for her urgently she will let me know and what we need to work on over the next week we discussed and then after the meeting um, I've put aside half an hour to uh, do anything that's urgent uh, and then after that I will be taking a break. finished the meeting there wasn't too much to do afterwards uh, so now I'm going to take a break uh, and do some exercise uh, which is one of the best things about working from home getting to structure my own time is that I've never had a job before where I, it was nine to five and I had to sit at my desk the whole time and so my body gets really uncomfortable if I sit for too long uh, and my brain doesn't work as well so I can schedule this break in the middle of my day to get up move around a bit um, and then once I've got out all that excess energy I will be ready to focus on my work this afternoon. So I finished my workout as you can probably tell by like how hot and sweaty I look. Uh, look at my hair. Never mind. Um, I am going to do another 20 minutes work while my lunch is cooking and uh, then I will quickly eat something and then I will get back to it and concentrate on one client until it's time to pick the kids up from school. It is three o'clock, so I am shutting down the PC and going to pick the kids up from school. Uh, I always walk to school, come rain or shine, but actually it is sunny today, so that's a lovely treat. Uh, I've got 15 minutes, so I always like to listen to a podcast on my way to school, and that is kind of my my me time in between being uh, VA Kate and being mummy Kate, uh, so I get to be just Kate uh, for 15 minutes. Uh, and I think today I'm listening to the new episode of Mason Space, which I'm super excited about because it's one of my favourites. Um, so I will pick the kids up from school, come home, feed them, take them to jiu-jitsu, and then I tend to do half an hour's work while they're at jiu-jitsu. Uh, I will probably get the YouTube social media up and running tomorrow. So I've just got back from the school run. It is 10 past nine and I'm just about to make myself a cup of coffee and then get to my desk and start my work for today. So coffee all made. I'm about to go sit down at my desk and start the day. So I'm at my desk and the way that I start my, my day is I have a checklist and um, there'll be um, tasks on there that I know that I need to, that I have listed that I know that needs to be completed. Um, so they will be the first things that I look at in the morning and then I will make a plan of how, um, what jobs I will be doing first. Now normally um, what I would be doing is just starting the day by checking um, each client's um, inbox and then I will then follow on from other tasks. Um, today I've got medical insurance to do um, so I'm going to get on and start that once I've checked the inboxes and I also have a bit of social media I need to do for a client so we'll get on and do that as well. I 
I became a VA through my friend Kim, who is the founder of Virtually Irreplaceable, the company we work for. And yeah, so she started this um, this job herself um, by doing um, admin tasks for her friend who's a therapist and from there it just grew and grew and grew and to the point where she was doing it by herself solely and asked if I would be interested um, in joining her um, and that was in 2020 so back in 2020 um, I joined her um, we had obviously been stay-at-home mums and our children had obviously now grown and they were starting school so it was it kind of came at the perfect time so being a VA um, means that you can work flexible hours to suit your needs so if you are a stay-at-home mum and you have young children who need to go to the school or nursery you can set your hours to work around your family so you can start work once the kids have gone to school and you can stop work once it's time to pick them up um, and in between is down to you so you can work the hours that you want you can set your boundaries um, so it fits with your family life um, it comes with um, flexibility in regards to you can choose your own clients you can choose how many clients you have it comes with lots of rewards because you can learn new skills, um, you can learn um, and to invest in yourself and to grow with it. I really hope you enjoyed me to my team and you found that vlog useful. If you feel ready to work with a VA, I would definitely encourage you to find VAs that specialize in working with therapists in private practice and also VAs that are familiar with the systems that you use too because that's going to save you a lot of time. I have loads of advice and tips on my channel about working with VAs. I'm going to link some of those videos in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.